So today we're going to install a case drain on a skid steer. Caterpillar is just going to be, so here's the unit. So it does not have a case drain for uh, basically any modern motorized uh, attachments. Your rotary cutters, um, I don't know, some of the breakers. Basically anything beyond a grapple that just has a hydraulic arm is going to need a case drain. Just a safer setup to run in case the uh, motor ever shells out. Sorry, this is filmed at night. That's what we're going to deal with today. Uh, went by the local hydraulic shop, had them make some hoses and uh, got the necessary fittings and such. Only came to about $150, but what we're going to do, we're going to attach a mount here, weld to it, run up. We've got some additional securement pieces here, along with zip tying. Route the hoses up to the ones already there for the auxiliary mounts. We're going to drop them down through this and then go forward. I'll secure those wires a little better forward. I'm going to say following the path of the original hoses. And we're going to tie into the hydraulic tank. So this is the, the kind of a, the weird part. Um, some models you could tie into. There's a case drain like Bobcat has from the uh, hydraulic motors. You could look at the... Uh, You'll possibly get a service manual for whatever unit that you own and see if you could tie into it. This does not have a case drain uh, for the motors. Um, so we're actually going to tie it directly into the uh, pump. I'm sorry, into the uh, reservoir. Um, so this right here, I've already loosened the nuts to lift the cage. There's two nuts. I'll go from the bottom side here. And this entire assembly, let's see what I can do with one hand. We'll then lift. You can hear that latch back here. If you heard it click, we'll verify it so this doesn't come down on me. So, yeah, the catch there. Now the cab is lifted on this unit. So, once again, the hoses go up, drop down, and I'm going to come back forward with it through right here. And this is your hydraulic reservoir. On this unit here, what we're going to have is a bulkhead connector. We're going to remove this um, suction side here. It's got a pipe that drops down with a strainer. We're going to move this and install this through fitting, this bulkhead fitting that has washers on both sides. We're gonna install it roughly around here. So we'll take a measurement from the other side because you don't want it up high because uh, you don't want aeration in your reservoir. Now there's not a lot of, so you can see where the fluid level, yeah, I don't have the arms, it's going to be hard to tell. Anyhow, so the fluid level is roughly here right now. So where are my fingers? So that's going to be, all right, so that level going across, somewhere around there is where we're going to install it, but on this other side, because I'm going to have to reach through it. In order to put the nut in this washer on the back side. So that was my fluid level roughly in here. So let's say I'm going to take this piece out here and we'll just say somewhere around here is where this is going to be mounted. I could even mount it over here on the side. Um, I'll focus somewhere around here. We'll figure that out once we have this removed. And then we're going to run our two hoses. 
You do this in one hose, five hoses, it doesn't matter, hydraulic fluid doesn't care. I did the two um, simply because it's the easiest way. If one of these hoses was to get a hole in it, I could just replace one as opposed to fishing this one all the way through and whatever, I'm complicating things as far as having more than uh, two. Going all the way. So um, here's what it is um, that I picked up from hydraulic store this is a very rough fitting i'll clean it up later just a piece of angle iron obviously the cut that's going to be my tab to mount the third one the original one who knows has been ripped off uh, and i'm not sure if it's even one like this is needed some, some time on it um here's another skid steer what is this 236 b and it has a slight indention and anyhow it doesn't even have a case strength but anyways um i'm gonna weld that to it have another pass through to the bulkhead fitting that is gonna go through here it's gonna mount hose is gonna go to the back the first hose is 124 inches and then it attaches to the other hose that has a 90 on it that's going to go to the tank. And like I say, we're going to put that bulkhead fitting and then your hose is going to go down. Uh, I got a 90 just because whenever this top goes back down, uh, we'll do that for clearance. Like I say, uh, Similar ideas, similar setups for whatever model, whatever machine, whatever thing you're trying to do it to add a case drain. Um, you want to do this. Um, similar setup. Like I say, it's, it's obviously a, a custom deal. They don't sell a kit from Caterpillar. My suggestion would be to sell your unit and buy a different one, but we're not going to do that. Uh, now this unit has some leaks. Um, it's like all of these, like the valves leak, yada, yada, yada. but we'll address that another day. So let's jump right on in and make some progress on this. So we made a little progress on this. And I cleaned everything up. I didn't really state that. I, I, I say cleaned everything up. I cleaned up the reservoir. Uh, so it's going to be close clearance. Here's the reservoir. And I said you could run the hose down the front. We might do it down the side. We do have some room. There's just insulation right here. Uh, temperature and comfort. Um, this is a non-AC unit, so it doesn't matter. But... Um, I believe that's where we're going to do the hose is off of the side and run it down next to so the pipe I was speaking of earlier. So that's where we cleaned up. Um, you do not want anything falling off down inside that reservoir. Uh, clean up top. Anything that can fall down inside of it. Any like dust, crumbs, skid steer that lives in dirty environments. Uh, be better if you pressure wash the whole unit uh, as clean as possible. Uh, it doesn't look very clean, but it's pretty clean here. Uh, there's an O-ring gasket on the back side. I suggest we replace that. So I've loosened both clamps here on this coupling hose. This hose is loose-ish. Um, I got one retaining bolt left. The other one's in my solo cup. So we'll pull this out. Um, I do suggest do this as quick as possible. Uh, the less time that you have this thing open, the less likely you're going to have an opportunity for uh, contamination to get inside your, uh, your fluid there. So I've got my, where are we at? My drill bit. It's a regular drill bit. I'm started with that. Knock a hole in it. What we're going to do, we're going to pack that drill bit full of grease. We're just going to put grease in the bit, keep any shavings from wanting to go down in the tank. Be super careful about that. And then I have a step bit that will knock the whole 
to the proper size for our fitting. So I'll have all this put together, all this ready. Unfortunately, I don't have my GoPro, so I'm not going to film this. So we're going to knock a hole in it. Um, our fluid level, I guess, say is around here. So when we get this out, we'll be able to see it. We'll be able to see the reservoir, I mean, the, the fluid level. And then we'll determine exactly where we're going to put this uh, fitting at. And be able to get our hand down the side of it to put our washer, our nut, and so forth to make this all work. All right, so we got our hole now. Got our hole and our bulkhead fitting. Let's see it here. It's gonna go right into there and feed into if it'll stay. I don't want to make it too large so that our sealing washer will seal. Now I'll reach in from the inside and put the uh, the other washer in the nut. Um, and then start going back together with her hoses, routing it all, sealing it all up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to clean this strainer off and uh, go back with that too. On the bulkhead fitting, we got it installed. Uh, thing I do is I mount the nut on the outside. So the stud part is actually coming from the inside out. Then I have the ceiling washer. And then a nut here. Uh, for me, it just makes me nervous if it ever was to start backing off from vibration or for whatever reason, that nut is going to drop down into your reservoir. Um, and then, you know, potentially if you don't have strainers or whatever reason, you could run into more problems. I'm just saying that. Um, the likelihood is very slim, but it's just a precautionary thing. So that is that. Alright guys, so where we're at now, we have our through fitting. We have our hose. All I've done so far is route that roughly. That's how it's going to go. I'm going to zip tie it to that pipe. Comes out of here, goes down and around. And I fed it through where this other one routes. If you can see my hand. Routes through, drops down into here and like i say it goes forward to where we were a minute ago um i've got the bracket off here that attaches these hoses say so i'm gonna secure uh with some zip ties on up through here um it has an attachment point uh, if you can see that bolt hole here we will attach the hoses secure it all And here it is up top. It's just going to go along there. Up into my little piece that I welded on. Um, it'll be cleaned up later and spray this whole unit. It's going to go back to work for a while and then uh, come back in. Eventually get sprayed. It's new paint. But our pass through. Long. Put it up here. Going like that. So now we will have our case drain. Oh gosh. And then that hose attached there. Be all secured. Button everything up. And this thing will be complete for the time being. Well, for this project at least. Alright, we're going to wrap this video up. Got it all mounted up here. Got our new hose, our third hose. These fittings were leaking, obviously. They, they, uh, super common on any of these makes and models. Uh, got our other line. Got it secured. Got it mounted. Got it attached. And routed the same way as the original hoses. And dropped in. Tied in. Uh... Right here, like I said, I did it in a two-piece, the same as the original is a two-piece. Matter of fact, one of those is actually a three-piece. But regardless, um, right on up through there, you won't see it. But looks pretty good. Never mind all the oil. I'll clean it up tomorrow. Um, well, yeah, it's routed right here. Uh, let's see if you can see the fitting. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make that out, but anyhow.
I just back in there. Yeah, turned out pretty good. Now we have the case drain to run um, compactor and many other things. Uh, got any questions? Just leave a comment. Whole thing turned out pretty good. It's Caterpillar uh, 262B.